In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily format your ebook and paperback for free. So if you're new here and you are not subscribed to the channel, please do so by hitting on the red subscribe button and bell notification icon so you'll be the first to get notified anytime we drop super awesome videos such as this one. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get right into it. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do here is we are going to first of all do a little formatting with uh, do a little formatting on our Google Docs, all right? Then after that, we will now go to this site called redsea.com or redsea.com to do the final editing. All right? So to access your to access your Google Docs is quite easy. All you have to do is just go into google google.com and then come in here this google apps you can see here scroll down and click on google docs all right and it's going to take you to a blank page that you can click to take you here so um uh, once you get here you want to up upload your the documents that you want to edit or you want to format all right so i'll come in here to where it says file and i'll go in here to open all right then once i'm in here i'll come in here to upload then i'll go in here to browse to look for the file that i want to edit so i'll come in here to download and my file is here i'll just click on it and click on open okay so my book is open and i just need to do a couple of things the most important thing you will do here is um, simply this let me just quickly delete this so i'll delete this all right and i'll also let me just quickly delete this guys all right all right okay so this is my book here i'm going to take this off as well so this is my book here all right breaking through the shadows navigating midlife crisis all right so this is the book title and this is also the subtitle i do not necessarily need these two guys here so what i can do is i'll take them off all right i'll take them off or i'll just simply cut them and paste them somewhere all right so let me paste them in here okay so while i fo focus on these other ones okay so this is the introduction all right so what i want to do now is to is to quickly make this come in here to where it says normal text and make this a heading all right so this is going to be heading one all right then at the end of this page i'm going to add what we call a what we call page break all right okay so you don't want to press enter from here to push this guy to the next page please do not do that if you are if you want to format your book don't do that okay so before we do that let's just i want to do another thing so let's just Control a everything then come in here to where it says align and events then put this here change this to justify all right so justify in a more it sort of just makes everything organized all right i prefer to use um when when i am um formatting my book i prefer to use justify because justify gives my book a more organized format all right so now let's get back to what we we're doing before so you come here at the end of every chapter and you put a page break do not press enter or stuff like that ensure you use a page break okay so i'm going to put in a page break all right this will take it take this um, chapter to the next page so then you can now adjust from here to remove all the spacing okay so the next thing you will do again is to for all the chapters make sure they are all they are all heading ones all right okay so i honestly don't know what this chapter here so i'm just going to leave it like this so all these guys are all sorry all these chapters i'm going to make them as heading one so when you're done with that chapter you go back in here again to the end of that chapter and add another page break to move to the next page all right so this will take me to the next page so what I'll do again is to remove all the spaces in between with backspace. Alright. 
okay so what i could do for this chapter another thing you could do is you could so that's literally what you would do for all the pages all right so when we are done we'll now move over to red sea so let me just quickly finish this and let's move over to red sea so do not forget do not forget that we have a kdp course uh, that we sell a very simple and straightforward kdp course that we sell to people that are interested in learning how to publish books on amazon kdp now there's also a small goodie attached to buying the course you're entitled to getting a free book yes a free book published by my team to get you started on your kdp journey i'm pretty sure that you won't get this anywhere okay if you're interested just go into the description box below link is in the description box below click on that link to buy okay so while all this is done you can change the font size if you want you can come in here to change the font size but ensure that you do that before doing all of this because you want everything to have a uniform font okay so ensure one thing i actually forgot to mention is if you are planning to change the font size but i don't want to change mine before doing any of the formatting that i just did quickly ctrl a that select everything ctrl a select everything and change the font size before doing any of this um formatting all right so basically okay so now i'm done with my formatting the next thing i want to do is to come in here to file and i will go down here to download all right so i'll go down to here to download and download this as um, microsoft word okay so i am done with this so the next step now is to go into this site called red sea to finish up okay so to sign up to red sea is not difficult just go to the website redsea.com and then sign up i'll leave links in the description box below sign up as an author all right so now for my nigerian brothers and sisters if you cannot if it is not working right if it is not working or you are unable to access the site just ensure that you download a free vpn this vpn vpn this one you can see here for chrome it's an extension from chrome is more than enough to get access to this website just go to google.com and type vpn download and add to your extension and you're good to go all right so once you're in here we call we're going to come in here to where it says books books as you can see this is a book some books that i have done here already okay so then we come to import all right so in import here we'll put in the book title which is um which is breaking through let me just quickly copy this breaking through the shadows breaking through the shadows all right so i'll just paste this here all right then i'll come in here to look for a file so our file should be in download which is this and then i'll click on open then i'll come in here to click on import okay so when it is done importing first off you go in here to where it says manage all right then come in here to settings all right then you cannot come in here to add the subtitle of the book our book has a subtitle so I'll come in here to subtitle where it says navigating midlife crisis i'll copy this come in here and paste this all right okay so if you have a book cover if you have a cover ready you can upload here you have a book description you can as well um, upload that and save okay so i'm just going to save this okay so then i would go back to the book so i'll come back here to write okay so now when you sign up yeah when you sign up so so that we don't you don't make a mistake when you sign up with red sea it's going to ask for the author name or whatever name you use is going to be the author name so what, I, what i'm saying this is you don't want to use another book that has another name for your red sea account red sea only recognizes just the name that you use in registering as the author name you understand right as the author name so so do not use another book with another name because it is going to show it is going to download that book with the author name and you cannot edit it all right because it's going to come you see that it's going to come as an epub file and a pdf file that's epub for the ebook then pdf print on demand for the pdf file which you cannot edit all right so 
it is advisable that you open the the red sea account with the name that's the pen name of the book that you are writing all right okay so we are in here on red sea okay so the first thing i want to do as you can see it's already showing me a chapter one page i don't need this so i will delete this okay so i will delete this chapter one okay this is what i need all right so the first thing i want to do is um it can also give you a copyright page as you can see here so i want a copyright copyright page so my pen name kevin james is here and every other thing that i need so i'm just coming here to select one of these you can select one of these clauses sorry let me skip this tutorial sorry about that so you can fill in this first edition your publication if you have an isbn you put it in there and the clauses which one of these you like you tick any one you like and return back to um return back to the dashboard here okay so i'll come in here to chapters so if i want you select the number of headings that you want if you want the chapter title it's going to come out like this if you want the headings it is going to come out like this that's the chapter the heading heading one and heading two all right if you want it like this it's going to show the heading one and heading two as you can see here okay i think i sort of like it like this or we'll just leave the chapter title so let's just leave the chapter title then we come into the body all right so whatever spelling error you can as well edit them here okay you can also see you can make something you can make some of this a quote use this to make it a quote all right you can make it a link make a link if you want to you can bold you can you understand you can make some interlink you can underline whatever thing you want to do with this you can do okay but i do not want this um as i do not want any of this like that okay all right so i prefer the way it was before okay so you go through your introduction go through every chapter make sure that you have not made any mistake all right and once you like basically you know you've already done the you've done the um what do i call it you've done the the major edits on you've done some of the edits on google docs that was why it was important for us to do those edits on google docs so we've done all those edits we check for spelling errors and everything okay then we just come in here to tell red sea to make our book look really fine all right look professional all right so we've added copyright table of contents i think that's pretty much everything okay then the next thing we want to do is to just come in here to export book export book okay and let red sea do its magic all right so if you have any questions so far do not forget to leave them in the comment section below all right okay so i'm going to come in here to export book then i'll i'm going to click on print pdf you can do this first before doing this whatever one you like okay but i'm going to start with um I'm going to click on uh, print ready PDF. All right. So this is for ebook, ebook publishing. That's EPUB. Okay. You can click on this one. Adjust uh, book formatting options. I like drop caps. Templates. You can select which one you like. You can select this one, Red Sea. I like classic, or you can select romance. All right. You can see what it's showing you for romance. So I usually like classic then when you're done you just come in here to export okay but we are going to i want to use print uh, pdf all right now this epub when this downloads here okay don't worry we're going to do that when it downloads do not worry that you don't have any file to open it okay if you go into your kdp dashboard when you're uploading book you will see that they accept epub files for pdf and for kindle right so they accept epub files for kid for kindle you can do use that all right for pdf here so in order to say okay maybe you might want to say i oh i cannot see what it looks like don't worry you see everything with this pdf ready print okay so i'll click on this guy take drop caps then i'll i'll click here to adjust the trim size okay the trim size for my book is six by nine if your own is five by eight you click that as well okay then the same thing still goes for still goes for classic and all of that so when i'm done i'll just quickly come in here to click on export book all right okay and it is going to 
export this if you scroll scroll down here if you scroll down here you can see it's showing exported files okay showing pending so all you need to do is just go to your email go to your email and you i'm very sure you can find it there okay let me just refresh this guy okay and as you can see our book is here and ready to go all right so okay our book is here so i'll just click on download book and it has downloaded so it's download it downloaded as a zip file so all i'll do is just come in here show in folder then go in here and extract files here all right then as you can see it came in two different formats we have one for um print ready and we have this other one here so this is the one that concerns me so let's open and see what our book looks like okay so this is the first page so as you can see like i said before during the video if you took notes this came this author name came it came along with the name that i used in registering the account and i cannot edit this okay so this name is going to be here no matter what so ensure that whatever pen name you are going to use for your book is what you are going to use in opening your red sea account all right okay so this is our copyright page looking very nice this is our table of contents looking also wonderful okay and here is our book very clean very clean and easy right so this is chapter one introduction chapter two very clean and easy very neat okay you can see how how clean how nice this is looking right the talk of the past reflections of your youth dreams okay so you can see how easy that was right the only work you have to do here is the small work that you do on is a small work that you do on on google docs even with google docs you are still not doing um you're not still not doing like real work you understand it's just to page break and adjust those titles and everything okay but basically that's how this is done you can see how clean and how beautiful our book is looking so all i have to do next is just go to um go to um, amazon kdp go to my kdp account and upload this book all right so if you have any questions so far leave them in the comment section below and i will answer your questions asap so i've come to the end of today's video if you have gotten any value from this video please give it a like share leave comment in the comment section below if you have any questions and more importantly hit on that red subscribe button and the bell notification icon so till i see you in my next video keep being consistent with what you're doing keep working hard god bless you and peace out